is it worth the time to uh, attend a slow maneuvering class? I'm guaranteeing you, if you love riding now, you're gonna love riding way more. Traveling Tall is brought to you by Custom Dynamics, Zippers Performance, Chromeworks, Redline Oil, Volunteer Audio, and Let's Roll. We about to ride, you about to ride. I got to ride. It's a beautiful day today. I'm on my way over here to check out Robert Simmons' practice session. His cone course that he just set up right here, there's a whole lot of cones. So now, I don't know what this exercise is called, but what they're doing, they're coming up to a stop, and then they are making a sharp left-hand turn. All right. Same thing, man. I should have let you do it going straight through instead of stopping. Yeah. Head and eyes, reload. Drag that rear brake. Trust the belief, just turn the handlebars, you'll be alright. Keep it loaded, open up that clutch. Good, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, rear brake. Keep it loaded, rear handlebars, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Alright, let's get the push up. Oh, that guy right there has made an improvement just a little bit of time that I've been here, so he's doing, doing pretty good. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, don't leave. There we go. Yeah, look at the camera, say cheese. Don't leave, how you leave? Outstanding. Outstanding. That's what I want to see. Look at my camera. Great 
He's about to let his class try it. He just went through it and showed them how to do it. Now his class is about to do it. Again, they're making some big improvements. I see some of the things, like when they first started out, how uh, just on the left turns and right turns. I don't know the guy's name, I'm sorry, but he, he looks like he's getting more confident on his bike. He's still working on it, he's still doing some things, but it looks like he's getting a whole lot more confident on his bike. I've seen some real big improvements out of everybody in the class. Okay, so now we got uh, Robert, who's about to uh, take his bike and go through the course here. Turn it and keep it turned. It's going like this. Oh, something's going on with the front end of this motorcycle. The tire may still be low. Look, it's at 28, right? No, it was at 28. Oh, no, it's at 35. 35. Oh, no, that should be 42, I think. Yeah, it's, it's still it low. Yeah, 44. Put 42 in. Yeah, it's still it's still low, but I don't, I'm not sure if that's it. But uh, we got to put some more air in it. So this is why I say I want you to do it the same way you always do it, because as you progress, if you choose to do so, and it gets tighter. Now you don't have all the space to be given away. So if you're going to make a left turn, come in here. Don't be all the way over here, right? Just like you did your rate. If you give up space over here, you got to make it up over there. Bring your wheel right here. Again, this is not going to be relevant for everybody in this circle. And now, hug these two cones. Now, I've been telling you guys for the longest, Actually, exercise number five, I told you, don't hug my cones. Now I want you to, I'm not a hypocrite, but it's different, right? Put your rear right here, hug these two cones, and when you get up here, now commit to the lean. Now commit to the lean, head nods. All you're gonna do is this circle, go around, and go back out. But if you're gonna do the next circle, keep going, keep going, oh, there's my bride. Keep going, hold it, hold it, look at that, sounds familiar, hold it. And that's all you're doing in here is hold it, hold it. And when you come over here, now we're gonna make a right turn. Same thing. Bring your wheel right here. And then hug these two cones. And then commit. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Head nods. If you're gonna go there, look there. If you're not, look here. So on and so forth. Till you get to the top. That's your entrance and your exit. Everything else is the same. Nothing else is different. Any questions? I'm gonna run through it, and then Andy's gonna run through it.
If you're going too fast, you're losing space. All right? Any questions? No, no, no. All right, Andy. About how, how fast were you going? Anytime I'm doing anything like that, I'm going six to seven miles per hour okay. the, at the most. I'll, I'll give you eight. I don't know if you're going to get away with eight at the top. You've been practicing here for how many? A couple times? Well, I've been here at least six times over the last two years. So I I'm told Robert last time I was here that if I have 15 minutes, I go for a quick ride or 15 minutes and go to the parking lot. I go to the parking lot. Steve. Yes, sir. What do you think? How do you like the course? Oh, man, I love it and I highly recommend it. And especially, you know, as a new rider, I highly recommend this course because it gives you confidence. And not only that, but, you know, you're learning to do it the right way in the beginning versus relearning something, undoing, you know, the, the bad habits, just starting off with good habits on the front end. I love it, and it's a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun. Right. What do you think about it, man? This course? Yeah. I think everybody should take it. Yeah, you know? I, I'm starting out at number one now, I'm at 1.1. 1. 1. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you got those big bars. What are those bars? Uh, these are Triple OG uh, Game Changers. All right, tell them what you told me earlier about bars. I think these bars are too wide, and I think you should try to course first before you go and get the bars or any kind of maneuvering that you're going to do because then you'll learn maybe what kind of bars you need or anything on your bike, actually. So you recommend the course? Yes. What do you think, man? I love it. I love it. So how's the course? The course helping you out? The course is great. Absolutely okay. great. How many times have you done this before? Uh, this is first time. The first time? So I've seen an improvement from when I came here earlier to now. So you're doing a whole okay. lot better. Yeah, good. appreciate that. Yeah, you're doing good. So you're going to keep on practicing? Oh, yeah. So anybody who's interested in taking this course, you recommend it? I would. All We're right. driving from Greenville for. From Greenville, South Carolina? Yes. And you got a nice looking road king, by the way, man. This was his first time on this course. thing to do i saw the guys improve from when i showed up early this morning to now they look more confident on it and they said they're going to be continuing to practice question was is it worth the time to uh attend a slow maneuvering class well i have to say yes because i've seen the improvement in these guys what do you think i know what you think you, you taught the class yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um well, first of all i want to thank you for being here man hey, no problem big man. time man i appreciate it um and that's a rhetorical question really it really is because all this is doing is preparing them to deal with uh oh because that's one of the reasons we practice out here we practice for what if something goes wrong this is why airline pilots practice in simulators right because it's, things don't always go as planned and if something happens you need to have something in your toolbox to resort to and if you don't practice this stuff you won't have the muscle memory and i'm telling you right now when you have an uh oh moment your instincts are going to kick in if you don't have anything else and we are our options out there on the road are limited to our skill level. If your skill level is zero, as it pertains to slow speed, egos aside, you know, that's why when we come out here, we ask everybody to rate themselves. The numbers for them, it's humbling now. You know, you get out here and you go, oh my gosh. 
And then that's supposed to motivate you, not discourage you. We don't do right. that out here. Motivate you to practice, get better. And I'm, I'm guaranteeing you, if you love riding now, you're going to love riding way more. I saw him out here with, with his uh, participants in the practice. He wasn't critical as in uh, anything that would be putting someone down or discouraging anybody. He was really professional and cares people. And I saw these guys get better before my eyes. If you really want to learn how to slow maneuver and you don't want anybody talking to you like a kid or, you know, making you feel some type of way, you should come see Robert. He really does a good job at it. And that's, only, that's the, only, the last nice thing I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Class is over. What'd you start out at today? What'd you rate yourself I as? I said a three. So what are you now? Two. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't be a two because you gain knowledge and you're gonna to continue to practice. Right. What? But I over judged myself the first time. Okay. What'd you start out as? A one. What are you now? Uh, maybe a 1.5. So you improved? <laughs> I improved. Okay. okay. <laughs> and these guys are being modest. They, they weigh more than that. Well, what, what'd you start out as? 6.5. What are you now? Look, since, since I completed that abominable snowman, uh -huh. I want to say I'm a 10. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I said, these guys are modest. He, he, he's not modest. No, but good but, job, man. That's cool that you did but, that. But, but realistically, I, I, I'm a 7. 7, okay. Yeah. So you did improve. Absolutely. So what are you now? We started around the 3, and we are probably somewhere around the 4, maybe. Four? Somewhere. Yeah, making progress. Now, he's being modest. Yeah, he's very, <laughs> hey. Some I saw him, he, he improved a lot. So what do you think? I I know I started out with zero. I, and I got gained. I, I'm better than what I am. I'll say 0.5. No. Yeah. <laughs> Point better, five doesn't do the better right than that. Turns, but yeah, so but no. you gain knowledge, gain experience. You do the, you do the right left turns. You got to be at least a three or four. He actually had weight on the back. He had full luggage on the back of his motorcycle. Oh, don't tell him that. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's whatever. I had a guy show up here and tell me he came purposely with almost an empty tank because he didn't want the extra weight. <laughs> the weight of the motorcycle is irrelevant because I. Uh, who asked me should I have a two-up class? I did. Yeah. Yesterday, yeah. Traveling tall asked me, why don't you have a two-up class? And I told him, all of my these are all two-up sessions. Just put somebody on the back, and that's what it is. Because <laughs> nothing changes. But like I always say to people, the goal is to come out here and improve in some way, no matter how small it is. And if you're not be, if you can't physically figure out the techniques right now, but you have a better understanding, that's progress. Thank now you. you've been here a couple times. At least six. Okay, what'd you start out at? When today? I first came here, the first time I came here, yeah, I started out at probably a three or four. Okay, so now you're a seven or eight because you did the snowman. Yes. Everybody was really happy with their training that they received today, and I'm about to get in that truck over there and head back to Tennessee. So guys, this is the end of it. It's been a fantastic week here in Pooler, Georgia. I wanna thank y'all for watching. I wanna thank all the viewers and subscribers and special shout out to Robert. Had a good ride yesterday. Special shout out to his wife, great host. You made everybody feel at home. So special shout out here. Also Wood Jr. came by. And guys, if you think Wood Jr. is a 10 as far as his, his level, no, he was like a 15 yesterday. So guys, he is really, really, really a bundle of energy. All right, guys, so I'm in this video here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, like it, please subscribe. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Check out Robert's channel, Wood Jr.'s channel. And thanks for watching my channel. Keep gliding, and as always, have a blessed day.